Hi there. Thanks for joining us for Together. I'm Karen Lee. For the next 30 minutes, we're going to be sharing stories of the people who are coming together for Colorado, for their friends and their neighbors, even strangers. They're the people who make our state an even better place to live. So sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy the good that's happening right next door. There's a little girl who made an incredible recovery, and it's thanks in large part to support from all of you. Charlie Shaw was seriously injured in a crash that killed her mother. And after months in the hospital, she finally got to go home. As Dominic Garcia explains, we should all fight like Charlie. On Christmas Eve, a drunk driver crashed into Charlie Shaw and her mother, Sansi, on I-70. She had tubes and wires hooked up to her in every way imaginable. Her father wasn't sure if she'd ever talk again, but Charlie kept fighting. I love you. Not only is Charlie talking, but she is out of the hospital. And we're all as a family again. We're going to show you the incredible outpouring of support for Charlie as she headed back home. That's next on Together. Well, prom is usually a highlight for most high schoolers, but where I'm about to take you is unlike any prom you've ever seen before. Those invited to this special celebration were given the celebrity treatment. As Kelly Worthman found out, it was definitely their night to shine. Yeah. Andrew Limbaugh has been looking forward to this for a long time. So has his mom. And I'm just super excited that he has this opportunity. It's going to be so fun. This is Night to Shine, a prom for those with special needs. He's just excited to hang out with his friends in a place where it is safe to be them, to be himself. The former Denver Bronco behind this annual event. That's later on Together. Look at those smiles. Well, restaurants often become fixtures in our, of our communities. At JC's Cafe in Golden, that's certainly the case. And it's not just the food that's bringing people together. It's the writing on the wall. When you walk into JC's Cafe, you immediately notice the wall. It may look like graffiti, but this wall is full of stories. It's as happy as could be found even in the darkest times, if only one remembers to our way. It's dedicated to customers past and present. And sometimes I look around and go, I didn't know, I never saw that before. How this whole tradition started, that's coming up on Together. Can't wait to share that with you. Well, communities across Colorado are coming together to throw their love and their support behind a courageous six-year-old. Last week, Charlie Shaw was released from the hospital after surviving a horrific crash. Dominic Garcia and photojournalist Jeremiah Belisle were there on the day that meant so much for so many reasons. Charlie Shaw's day started a little earlier than most six-year-olds, but you'd be excited too if you got this news. I get to go home. After almost two months, this little fighter left Children's Hospital, flanked by her dad and three very protective brothers. And we're all as a family again. It, she gets to be with her pets and us. What are you most excited to do when you get home? Um, see my cat. See your cat? What's your cat's name? Belle. I feel very blessed to be going home. We're very excited to get us all under one roof again and start moving forward on this journey together. Not only was Charlie surrounded by friends and family, but also the people who helped save her life. Can I have a hug? Matthew Swider was in the helicopter that flew Charlie to Children's the night of the accident. Uh, just, this is why we do what we do. That's really it. Charlie still has a long road to recovery, but her road home? That was filled with support. First responders lined the exit near the crash site on I-70. Let her know that uh, we have her back. She's not alone, uh, that she has support. And when they got to Steamboat Springs, it was the kind of reception you'd expect from a tight-knit town. The only thing that would make it better is if Stancy were here with her, but um, Stancy wouldn't have wanted it any other way. We can all learn a lot from Charlie Shaw. Just ask her dad. Her recovery and, and my recovery, in a sense, have been on a parallel path. And as uh, she, she would continue to make strides, uh, it would motivate me and I would make strides and, and, and just things would get a little bit better for me. We asked Charlie what she wanted to say to her rescuers, her caretakers, friends, and everyone who supported her. She kept it simple and sweet. I love you. 
And we love you, Charlie, and your entire family. Dominic Garcia joins us now. We just uh, we we love this family so much, yeah. and we really appreciate you bringing them to us and sharing them with us. You've gotten to know them quite a bit over the last couple of months, and um, what's it been like watching her recovery? We cover a lot of things right. in news, right? I think a lot of times we were able to detach ourselves even from some of the hard stuff we do. This one stuck with me, and watching her recovery has been nothing short of amazing. They didn't think. She was going to survive at first. She did. They didn't think she was going to talk. She did, and she just continues to, to, to recover and 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 make these milestones. And it's just been amazing. And she's so sweet too. Yeah. yeah. No, you just want to hug her, don't you? Well, we know this family has been through so much. It's really tough um, for what they've been through and and the way they lost Sansi mm -hmm. and what happened to Charlie. So why did they decide to share their story and be so open with all of this? Brett talked to us a few days after this happened, and the first question I asked him was, why are you talking to us? I'm not sure I would right. if this happened to me, but he said, listen, I've been given this platform. I, I want people to know several things. One, don't drink and drive. Please don't do that. And then he also wants people to value what they have. Tell your family you love them, you know, just don't go to bed angry. Just it, it, it goes a long way because you never know when they might be gone. Part of their healing process was um, starting a Facebook page. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that and where people can find that. Yeah, it's called Live Like Sansy, Fight Like Charlie, very appropriately right. named. And, and it's, it's not only a way for them to share their story, they want to hear other people's mm -hmm. stories. So people have been going on, posting things, you know, I, I saw your story, here's how it's helped me. And then they've been sharing stories. Brett has had a lot of people reach out to him saying, your story encouraged me not to drink and drive, to, you know, value my wife, right. to tell my kids I love them more. So it, it's, it's a community thing, and they want more people to join it. All right, Dominic, yeah. thank you so much. And we know you'll keep us posted yes, on this. And yeah. We'll check in with Charlie and see how she's doing Sounds here down great. the road. Yeah. Thanks so much. Well, in Lakewood, elementary school students are coming together to help the police department's four-legged friends. With a grand total amount of $2,667.13. Ah, oh, I love that. Students in Schaefer Elementary raised money for the police canine unit. They presented that big old check to the department last week. The money is going to do a lot. Not only will it pay for vet bills, but also for kennel visits when the officers are out of town, something you don't think about. Well, students in Aurora had a reason to celebrate earlier this month. They were just some of the thousands of kids around the world treated to a very special prom. The event, you might have heard of it, is called Night to Shine. And it's all about giving kids with special needs an unforgettable experience. Well, Kelly Worthman and photojournalist Mark Nitro were thrilled that they could be a part of it. Let's tuck in. Oh, there you go. Good job, bud. When getting ready for the prom, it's always nice to have a helping hand. All right, bud. Look up. For 16 year old Andrew Limbaugh, his dad has just the right touch. Do yours feel soft? How's mine feel? Soft. Okay. And Andrew's special night wouldn't be complete without his favorite tie. Tell me what's on your tie. Donuts. <laughs> I hear you really like donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Maria Dupres. On this night, Andrew and more than 100 other honored guests are getting the royal treatment. From the red carpet and paparazzi to shoe shining, fresh flowers, and limo rides. It's called a night to shine, a fun-filled prom for those with special needs. People within this community love to dance and love to party. And for many, it's a chance to party like they never have before. Not only did I not get to go to my prom, so this is really cool for me, but I have a son that has Down syndrome that was never asked. Nearly 200 volunteers came together to make this prom possible and embrace one another for what makes them special. That's all this is. It's just a reminder that let's be loving and accepting. On this prom night, everyone is a king and queen, and perhaps nothing shines brighter than Andrew's smile. Well, Night to Shine is sponsored by the Tim Tebow Foundation. This event in Aurora was one of more than 600 that happened all over the world. Well, have you been to Casa Bonita? I know you have. If you haven't, you need to get out there. It was one of the first places that we took our daughter when she was little. It is so Colorado, and one man loves it so much, he decided to throw a big party to celebrate his 300th visit. How we use that as an opportunity to come together for others, we'll explain. 
Together with Karen Lee. Sponsored by Canvas Credit Union. We're Canvas and we've got you covered, Colorado. Go live. Well, Cliff Diver, Sopapillas, and Black Bart's Cave. Casa Benita in Lakewood has been a Colorado staple for 45 years. Just about everybody has been a time or two as a rite of passage. And one man we've learned just celebrated 300 trips to Casa Bonita. Andrew Novick says that he has been going here his whole entire life. He wanted to throw a big party for his 300th trip. So when hundreds of people RSVP'd, he worked with a restaurant to also use this event as a fundraiser for a nonprofit called the Food Bridge Marketplace. They work with refugees and immigrants um, in the Mariposa neighborhood. Um, to uh, it's, a, it's like a food incubator where they can serve lunch and kind of learn the, the business side of making their nation's cuisine. Ah, who knew, right? That's so fantastic. Casa Benita donated 20% of last Sunday's food and drink proceeds to that charity. Look at all those people out there. So well, much fun. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. we know Lauren Whitney has been busy getting ready for her Girls in Science event this weekend, mm -hmm. but Dave decided to sit in and talk about some of the awesome pictures that so many of you send in to us, as we always appreciate. I wanted to go with a moose vibe <laughs> today. You know, there's a lot of wildlife to be right. had and seen and, and that type of thing, and we're getting a lot of moose pictures around. They're getting uh, all over the place. Judy Williams, who lives in Gilpin County, sent this one in. If you look real closely, he's kind of giving you the side eye there. Like, yeah. Why are you taking my picture here? Uh, look at that. Uh, then we got another one. Alex Eubanks shot this at the bottom of the ski lift up at Winter Park. A mama and her baby moose there. And if you look real close, back behind the brush there, there's another moose yeah, back there. I don't know incredible. if that's Papa or maybe Auntie, something like that, hanging out there. And Shannon Lukens up in Steamboat. She found these two guys hanging out on her driveway there, walking around her yard. And she lives in a great place. She gets a lot of wildlife up there. There's a little closer look. And, of course, they had to grab a snack later yeah. right on the side of the house there. Thank you, Shannon, for sending those in. Yeah, we appreciate all those. And make sure you send pictures of you in there, too, because we always like to see you out and about. So share your pictures with us, and we may feature them right here on Together. But send don't, don't get too close to the moose. No, don't. Send us an email at togetherforcolorado.cbs.com. You can also post it on social media using the hashtag for Colorado. Well, Girl Scouts do a lot more than sell cookies. They also come together for Colorado. How what these girls are doing today will help pets in need. Well, as the mom of a Girl Scout, I know how hard these girls work during their cookie season. And I've learned many of the troops do a lot with their cookie money that they collect, like this next group that we found helping rescuers. These girls handed over 24 boxes to the Douglas County Search and Rescue Team. Customers donated the boxes through the Girl Scouts Hometown Heroes program, but the girls made sure they got into the right hands. We know that it's solely volunteer based and that they give up a lot of their time to go out and train. We are just incredibly honored by this. They do so much and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. We're very honored. The Hometown Heroes program allows customers to purchase their cookies and they can also let the girls give them to an organization of their choice. At Cottonwood Creek Elementary and Cherry Creek Schools, we found another Girl Scout troop coming together for the homeless and their pets. They collected and sorted out blankets and animal sweaters. The girls are working with Peace, Love, and Paws. The nonprofit provides free exams, vaccines, and other services to pet owners who are homeless. It's a cause the girls are proud to be a part of. We're collecting donations for Peace of Paws. They're really adorable and they help people with special needs, so they're really good for moral support. Most of us love animals and we also have a place in our heart for people who are experiencing homelessness. I love pets and pets give us so much. People who are experiencing homelessness are going through a hard time in their life and pets can comfort us. Many pets and their people can't access vet care due to cost. Very few places accept animals. Very few shelters accept animals that didn't get their vaccination. We want to help the world become a better place. And you are, girl, so thank you so much for that. They took time out of their day during cookie selling season, no less, to help out this nonprofit. And it is part of their bronze award project, so best of luck. Well, these girls sure have plenty of spirit, and now they're being recognized for it. The big award these local cheerleaders just won out in California. Well, you can find more information on all of the Together for Colorado stories featured in today's show by visiting our website, cbsdenver.com. Well, in Golden, I discovered a tiny cafe. It is so small, 
You might miss it if you don't know where to look. But once you step inside, you're going to find something really big going on. Hope, love, and a whole lot of heart. I hope you'll visit to understand what I'm talking about because it's pretty special. At JC's Cafe, the cooking is home style. Breakfast and lunch every single day. We are a family run restaurant. And they run the restaurant like a family. It's the kind of place where everyone knows your name. Oh, Roy's been you a customer. Are? He's yes. been a customer of mine forever. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Even the decor is homemade. Walls covered with the names and sentiments of people who have passed through. There's stories upon stories upon stories upon stories on these walls. Some are difficult, like the story of the Domino's pizza driver killed while on duty. Nathan Leone's wife left a prayer in his honor. A heart of gold stopped beating, hardworking hands now rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. Then there's a longtime customer, Rose, who put the names of her entire family on this wall. And then she passed away. And so they came in and they put her name up. This all started before Chris and her husband John bought the place with the phrase, light a candle, say a prayer. Well, now hundreds of candles line the walls, each with the name of a loved one. These people feel like they have ownership of this place. So, Chris, tell me what it means to you to have something that means so much to the people around here. I think we're really blessed here in this place. I think we, we're, we try to be a blessing to the community, and I think we've been blessed by the community. You can tell that when you walk inside. Well, Chris told me that when she first bought the cafe, she considered painting over the walls, but that thought only lasted about a day. Now she can't imagine the place without its walls. Well, I want to take a moment to congratulate these girls in Johnstown. The Roosevelt High School varsity cheer team just won big at the USA Nationals. The team was a runner-up in the Super Varsity Show Cheer Division. This is the first time that RHS Cheer has made finals and nationals in school history. But it's not the first time that Colorado cheerleaders have won big. Earlier this month, Fossil Ridge High School cheer team in Fort Collins competed in the national championships at Disney World. And they won the large varsity division one competition. Congrats to all of these amazing, talented girls. Well, before we go, I want to take a moment to thank you, our viewers, for tuning in every week. I love it when you email me your thoughts. Susan sent me this note. She writes, I enjoy Together for Colorado. It is programming at its best, uplifting and informative. Please keep up the great work. So thank you, Susan, for reaching out to us. And we hope that you keep on watching. And keep those emails coming. You can email me at Kaylee at CBS.com. That's where you can also send me your story ideas, even pictures of you out and about with your family. I look forward to hearing and talking to you. So thank you for joining us on Together. I look forward to seeing you next week as we have more inspiring stories of how people are coming together for each other. Until then, we leave you with a clip from the Colorado Ballet's recent production of The Wizard of Oz. If you missed it, the company's newest show premieres next week. Tour de Force is playing March 8th through the 10th at the Ellie Calkins Opera House.